Somehow I've become a gamer that doesn't play video games. How the hell does that work? Sounds weird, doesn't it? So, what do I mean by that? Truth is, I don't really play that many games anymore. But gaming is something I've done since I was a kid. It's something I've always done. And to this day, it's still important to me. But I just don't do it that much anymore. And I know, like, a lot of people say, oh, that's just growing up, but there's more to it than that. It's not just a loss of interest, there's other things at work. An obvious one is just simply a matter of time. Gaming is a, is a commitment, it's an investment. It takes a lot of time to get through a game, it takes like 20 hours to, to get through the, the standard game, 40 hours if it's an RPG, and heck, you can go into hundreds if you're playing something like Fallout, God's sake. That's like a full week working a part-time job. And I can barely find time to do the things that I need to do, right? You know, whether it's just doing the dishes and stuff like that, but more importantly, you know, studying web development so I can improve my living situation and creating videos like these, making things to put out into the world. It's just hard to find time. Although I will say there is one issue that I believe is far more responsible for my lack of gaming than that. There have been moments where I could game. There's been minutes throughout the day, a little bit of extra time on the end of a lunch break, 30 minutes before bed where I don't have anything else to do, or I'm too tired to do anything else. But I don't take that opportunity to game, although I very well could. And I'll tell you why. It has to do not just with the nature of games, with the nature of storytelling in general, even with the games without much of a story. And that is the setup. Most films or novels require a period to get invested. You know, you, you, you read the first five chapters of a book with the understanding that, okay, this is for a purpose, this is gonna get better. If it's very well written, those five chapters will be hopefully very interesting regardless, but a lot of the time, the meat doesn't come till the middle. You gotta set up everything first. You gotta set up the chessboard before you can start moving pieces. You gotta know who people are, and you gotta know why you should give a damn about them. <laughs> Gaming has a similar setup phase that you need to go through. Although it's not necessarily about characters, it's about rules. And one of these ideas I've read about for why games are fun is that it's the idea of, and I think it's a very powerful idea, is this, that what you're really doing with video games is that you're learning. Every single game is a new system, a new set of rules, a new set of tools. And every time you play a game, you're, you have to learn a new system. And the joy of the game comes from learning how it works and using what you've learned to solve problems. That's what makes it interesting, the learning process. It, it's the experience of mastery. It's the experience of being good at something, even if it's something trivial. And it's that experience of learning that is what makes games at the core, that are at the core of what makes games so interesting. <laughs> also, uh, that's why I think they're so damn good for you. Now, I only say all this to sort of explain how learning is integral to what makes games games. And that learning is what keeps me from playing games. Because the truth is, a lot of times, I'm too damn lazy to go through that beginning expository portion of the game. You need to sit down and you need to take the time to do that first couple tutorials at the beginning of the game before you can really just start playing it whenever. And I so often am just too lazy to take that first step. Now, there's a game I'm already playing, that I'm already invested in the story, and I already know how to play. Using those little five minute chunks throughout my day to hop on and play for five minutes, that's no problem. But if I haven't done that before, I'm not going to use those five minutes to learn how to play a new game. It takes like a, a bit of commitment at the beginning before you can get into it like that. That's why I've stopped playing games. Because I just don't want to take the time at the beginning to learn how to play a new one. Oftentimes I'm too lazy to do that. Now, I found if I want to keep playing games, and I do, because they're important to me and I feel like they enrich my life and make the world a better place. What I have to do is just deliberately go out of my way and say, okay, you know, this weekend I'm going to sit down and I'm going to start a game. And once I've started, man, I can fall back in love quick. <laughs> weird to think of it like an investment, but that's what it is, because once you make that investment, so many times I've found myself thinking, oh yeah, this is why I love this. So yeah, what about you? Do you still play as many games as you used to, or are we all just getting old? Is this just growing up? I don't know. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Check out my last vlog, check out my last gaming video, and like, comment, and subscribe, and keep hanging out with me, man. Stay beautiful.